Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Dr. H. Benjamin Williams is being honored tonight and is the recipient of the Bridge Builders Award for Strategic Alliances. The Cobb Ministerial Alliance grants this outstanding recognition because of his activism and advocacy to influence best practices that affect the quality of life for all of us who live, reside, and domicile in Cobb County. However, I'm aware, as many, of, as many of you are, of his influence in places far beyond the boundaries of our county. He has demonstrated his interest in individuals from all walks of life, the high, the low, and those in between. Also, he has demonstrated his interest in individuals, and his advocacy has touched government law enforcement, higher education, public schools, and other strategic policy places and spaces in our county. Dr. Williams is active in local and state national affairs, the Chi Gamma Gamma chapter of the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, the Second Century Invictus Fund, a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting black males in the efforts to navigate and mobilize the myriad challenges that threaten their opportunities to their success. The very essence and foundation of Dean's professional preparation was established at Cheney State College, the world's oldest HBCU, where he earned an undergraduate degree that prepared him for the practice of teaching and learning in the urban school system. His advanced degrees in the areas of social systems, theory, organization development, and leadership where he earned at Rhode Island College Institute of Technology, better known as MIT, as well as Boston University. Dr. Williams has done postgraduate studies at UMass, Amherst, Harvard, and Columbia Universities. He has also earned uh, certification in applied politics from the North Carolina Institute of Political Leadership. He is a very fine president of the Cobb County chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. I want you to know that Ben is married to Dr. Sharon Williams. And they are the parents of two twin daughters who blessed them with two wonderful son-in-law and three grandsons. Dr. H. Benjamin Williams and Sharon Davis Williams are proud members of the Zion Baptist Church in Marietta, Georgia, where my good friend and brother, Pastor Eric Beckham, is the pastor. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, it is my signal honor to introduce to some and present to others Dr. H. Benjamin Williams. As he comes, I want to ask Chris Drayden, uh, the Vice Bossalus of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity and Chi Gamma Gamma Chapter to come at this time and also escort his beautiful life, wife. And I'm going to ask my mother's adopted son, Stephen Ralston, to also come uh, with something that I would like to present to her personally. How many of you know that beside every man, there ought to be a good woman? Mm -hmm. If Stephen Rawson could please come at this time, God bless you. Dr. Sharon Williams, I would like to personally 
present you with these beautiful flowers that my mother made fresh today from her florist for allowing Dr. Ben Williams, your husband, to be with us in many capacities on so many occasions. God bless you and may heaven continue to smile upon you. Stephen Ralston will present you with the flowers at this time. Thank you. Chairman Reggie, thank you so much. I uh, entrusted my wife's support to Brother Chris Drake. Uh, we, we have that kind of bond, and Chris is reciprocal. Anytime Runessa needs me, uh, you can call on me. <clears throat> I'm very humbled by uh, tonight's occasion that includes me. As Tim said in his powerful remarks, the work that we do <clears throat> sometimes leaves us isolated and alone. But I've learned over time that the typological construct that I operate from, I believe sets it in order. A wretch like me, a former gangbanger on the streets of Philadelphia during a time that we earn the distinction of having the highest teenage suicide rate in the nation. And somehow, <clears throat> it had to be God that reordered my steps and obtained my obedience to be able to find my way out of that. So God is the type of the top of my typology. And I've learned as I've gotten older to be more attentive to what he says to me. So God first. Family. <clears throat> Baby, you have taught me what love is and what love looks like. as I watch you behave in relationship to me so that I could see it in action and consequently have the knowledge and skill to show it to others. You also blessed me with two beautiful daughters who have blossomed into women who have become troublesome, but that's okay. <laughs> They're my girls. And I love them deeply, respect them. They have chosen two of the finest young men that I've ever met to be their husbands. Um, one of my sons-in-law uh, is here supporting us on this, uh, this occasion. So family, fraternity. I'm extremely pleased to have in the room members of the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, one of the five best decisions that I made in my life. It is from Omega at its best, that from the streets of Philadelphia, I redefine what manhood is. What scholarship really means, 
and the tool that it is to a thoughtful man. Perseverance. Don't quit, see it through. Stay the course. And then uplift. As you see yourself climbing, never shut the door on others behind you. Keep it ajar and your hand behind you to lift as you climb. Friends, I'm honored to have in the room the daughter and son-in-law of my best friend and the overseer uh, Sherrod, you asked for some diversification. Uh, he happens to be a Kappa. <laughs> he happens to be a Kappa. My best friend, okay? Lisa and Rodney, wave your hand, okay? Here representing their dad. God, family, fraternity, and friends. Luther, Washington, and Angela have let me watch what compassion looks like and a devoted uh, service to the least among us. Thank you, Luther, for help helping me to, to see that. Last but not least, my SCLC family. I've been a member of the NAACP since I was 13 years old and a life member for over 20 years. Coming to Cobb County, uh, I became affiliated with the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and under <clears throat> my predecessor, the Reverend Dwight Graves, uh, I served and got involved and after his passing, I was asked uh, to take the presidency. And that's been an honor, an honor to be of service. Robert, I want to remind everyone, I am a volunteer. Okay, I'm a volunteer, but it's a labor of love. So in closing, uh, once again to the Cobb Ministry Alliance, I thank you sincerely for your acknowledgement, and I certainly look at it as being higher expectations of me from you, and I will not let you down.